What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing part 2 of how to beat Moon Speedrun. These are levels 16 through 30. I hope you guys enjoy. So level 16 is definitely one of the harder or hardest levels in the game. They, it, there's a crazy mishmash of all these, all these platforms you can land on. And it's just so confusing, especially this part. Like, look at this. What is this? So what I recommend doing is going to the side where there's a lot, like, definitely easier platforms to land on. And this jump is a little bit tricky, but when you get past it, you're basically at the end. So now, jump here, go here, and you're done with the level. Level 17 is definitely an easier level than level 16. It's a break. There are some challenging parts. But really, like, it's so much easier than level 16. A lot of these jumps are not a crazy mishmash. And on the, on the contrary, are a lot bigger. Those wider platforms are definitely harder to jump. But the, those are really the only hard part of the level. Now, level 18. It's easy. It's really not hard. Okay, no. Level 18 is pretty difficult. I mean, it's easy at first, but once you get to this part, it's not easy. You have to go back at the level, make a long jump, make another long jump. Go onto this completely white cube. And after that, you should beat the level. Level 19 is the second level level. And it's pretty easy. It's about as easy as level 9, if I dare say so myself. This jump is long, but not really that hard. Um, you can skip over this platform. You'll be okay, trust me. And I'm almost done with the level already. I just avoid the red lava, because that will kill you. So don't even like touch that, because you're going to die. Level 20 is the moon level. It's like the second space level if you want to count level 4 as a space level. It's got some little platforms, but it's not really that hard of a level. It's... Especially this part here, it has a lot of big platforms that you can easily land on. Now, towards the end right here, there are very small platforms. And it will definitely be harder for you to jump on them. But not that hard. And level 21 is the money level. As you can clearly see by the several George Washington bills. It is probably the easiest level. Of all these later levels, it's the easiest one. All the build, all the platforms are the exact same. It's, there's really not a lot of challenge. This part might be a little bit challenging, but it's really not. There you go. You did it. Yay. Level 22 is definitely one of the harder levels it is not an easy level you can clear a good part of the level by doing that there we go finally like three times in a row whenever i hit that yellow line it wouldn't give me the speed boost it's a very annoying thing that will commonly happen to you Although it normally doesn't happen three times in a row, it will usually happen to you in your run at least a couple of times. Okay. Like, I'm trying to do a tutorial here, and this game is just trying to mess me up in every single way possible. Alright. So, a lot of this stuff is hard. You basically just have to hope that you do well this end part might give you a little bit of trouble but it shouldn't really give you that much there you go level 23 the tree level the autumn level whatever you want to call it it has something to do with like maple trees or just trees in general you know sometimes another annoying thing that will happen when you're trying to do your speed your run is sometimes the camera will for some reason inexplicably just randomly 
completely mess you up because the camera just rotates in an awkward way where you can't see what you're doing. It's very annoying and at least for me it happens a lot. So you gotta also be careful with that. A lot of times it does it when you're jumping but there you go. Level 24 is a very easy level. I mean some of the jumps are a little bit difficult but most of them are just big platforms. The only real trouble you have is maybe it'll be a little bit hard seeing because of these, these big beams that might block what you're looking at. And the fact that this entire thing is blue is really the only hard part of the level. And some of the parts are tilted, so that could be very annoying, but it's really easy. Level 25 is one of the harder levels in the game. It's one of the hardest. It's got a lot of narrow platforms that are tilted. It makes it harder. And just generally, it's going to be one of those harder levels because it's at the end. But still, we haven't gotten to like the really hard levels yet. Not yet, but we're going to get to them very soon. And there we go. Level 25 is done. Level 26 is um, one of those very hard levels. Look at this. Just, just look at this. That's like you basically... You can't stop on that, because if you stop, you'll just go down. Alright, these are very tilted and very annoying to get on top of. You have to jump from here to there, which is very annoying. Jump back from there, then to there. It's I don't even know how to explain this level. It's so confusing. And it's just so annoying to play. Like, the design doesn't even look that cool. But that's just my opinion. Now, level 27 is this candy level. And the design looks really cool. But the level's not cool. It's not cool. This level is absolutely cruel to you. It is, It is like, it's, it's probably the second hardest level in the game, in my opinion. These ice cream platforms will be the death of you, like, every single time. They're just so annoying to get past. They will make you question why you like candy. And guess what? My camera, once again, did one of those dumb little things where it just randomly tilts in the middle of your jump. It is the most annoying thing ever. But what? I did it again. Not a big deal, though. We'll do this. Eventually. No, I should be able to clear this soon. But, like, it's just very annoying, the amount of things... Especially, like, when you first get to this level, it's going to take you a while to beat it. Because it's just such a hard level. These ice cream platforms are just really hard to nail. First of all, the jumps are not easy. And there's such a narrow platform, and you can only land on the little... The round part of the ice cream, otherwise you're not going to survive. You can't even land on the side of it. Nope. You're going to die. And this is by far the hardest jump. That one chocolate ice cream... Is just such a hard jump. Now that I think about it, most of the time is um, when you're using the camera, you might have the analog stick. You're trying to press the stick, the thumbstick, and you just mess it up because you didn't press it. So that's why the camera does that. So avoid that. Be careful. Level 28 is an easy level. It's like, I don't even know why this is one of the last levels. The only thing is that you have to completely get to the cloud. If you're on the side of the cloud, you're, you're going to fall off because... That's just how this level is, but it's really easy. And the hardest level in the game. Level 29, this time level. It is by far the hardest level in the game. Not only is, uh, like, the music is, like... <laughs> the music makes it feel so like intense and the platforms all of them are narrow every single one of them except for the little gears that you'll land on those are the only times you'll really get a break we're almost at the end hopefully i don't mess this up because this is very near the end oh boy okay we're there there we go on to the final level which is level 30 which is easier than level 29 it's a hard level, but it's easier. And from what you've been through with your run, you should be able to pass this level. There's some very small platforms. And 
narrow. So you'll be you'll have to be careful with that. And these jumps are pretty intense, but still, level 29 is definitely the hardest level. Also, is it just me, or are, the, or are these sprites ripped straight from Mario Kart Rainbow Road in, like, Mario Kart Wii? It, I don't know if it's just me. Anyways, basically the final part of this level and the game is this spiral, which you will keep going across for a pretty decent amount of time. It would just keep spiraling, and if you go too fast, you might fall off. So, you gotta be careful with that. But really, once you finish the spiral, it's you're pretty much done. Like here we are at the final part. We might want to be a little bit careful because these platforms are very narrow. And there we go. That's speedrun. Yeah! All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to my channel where I post Roblox videos almost every single day and gaming videos in general. Peace. <laughs>